So out of all of the HTTP verbs, delete is going to be the easiest by far. And all that it entails is sending an ID to the API where the record will be deleted. And Entity Framework does most of this for you. The only thing that you have to do is use the ID to find the first stock or entity, whichever you're using, and then passing this entity into the remove function of Entity Framework, calling save changes, it's gonna send the SQL to the database. You are pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside of VS Code and let's get coding. So this one's gonna be short, sweet, and to the point just the way we like it. So let's go into here and we are going to have a delete, HTTP delete. And then we're gonna go down here. We're going to have a route. Remember we need to have this route and we need to pass in an ID because we need to actually be able to see. Number one, we can't delete anything if it doesn't exist. So we're going to check if it exists first, but let's go ahead, let's make our signature. So I action result, we'll have our delete. And the delete is going to have a from route. Um, we might, we'll just put it there for good good measure. Make sure just to have it from route. It's better to be official than to be sorry and just leave it out and it something messes up. So just, even though we could just leave that out, I wouldn't recommend it. Let's say, let's go context. We'll go stocks first or default. And x is equal to x dot id is equal to the ID that we are passing in from here. So remember, we're going to go check to see. This is, a, this is a very important part of many APIs is doing the first or default check and making sure that it exists because there are certain endpoints. Just try to form the correlation of which endpoints need to be checked if something, if they actually exist or if the model actually exists and which don't, and it will help you a ton. So we've already checked if the, we've already done a null check. Now we're going to go down here, we're going to do context, go into our stock application db context, we're going to go remove, we're going to pass in our stock model, of course, we're going to go context, save changes. Then here, we're going to return no content. And no content is kind of a strange one, you might not have seen that any before, but whenever you do a delete, no content is a success. So it's a status 200 or a more specifically a 204, which is the good thumbs up, green thumbs up for deleting. All right, so let's go into here and go ahead, restart it, run Swagger, and let's check to see if it works. So go into here and let's delete a stock that we no longer want in our stock API. And I'm going to go with VTI. I'm, I used to be a big VTI guy, but I kind of have gotten out of VTI for real. And I'm going to go down here and we're going to go ahead and delete it. Fingers crossed. Yes. I think we're, yes. 204 undocumented. All right, let's go. So let's also make sure we have our Git and VTI is no longer there. Okay. That's pretty much it. Next, we are going to move on to async. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.